This is uh, kind of part two of what I was just saying in the last video about saying the mantra with simplicity. Let's begin by looking at this hidden gardening equipment here, hidden behind the bush. It's the, what we use to water the plants. It's interesting how we hide some of the basic tools of life like this in order not to spoil the, the look. And here is, just behind it, you can see the, the little meditation bench that uh, one of the imaginative members of our community constructed around the property. So I was talking about saying the mantra with simplicity and having a way to follow <coughs> that never ceases to be forgiving and to be welcoming, however many times we may seem to complicate it and spend the time of meditation just solving our problems endlessly or analyzing our performance endlessly. So what happens? What happens as we return faithfully to the mantra is that something does change in the quality of our attention. Subtly, imperceptibly, but this is also reflected in our daily life, in our relationships and in our general consciousness. Subtly, imperceptibly, we begin to listen to the mantra. And the listening takes us more and more deeply beyond self-consciousness, beyond the analytical, reflective self-consciousness that we start with. As we listen to the mantra, we find that we are saying it with greater transparency, greater purity, and the self-consciousness of saying it becomes less and less obtrusive, less and less getting in the way. And then that subtlety, that deep listening, becomes almost fully transparent. We can say the mantra with no distractions or no distractions that push their way in and occupy our attention, demanding our attention like a, a greedy cat wanting some scraps from the table. And we are moving into where we are. We are moving into that state of consciousness which we already inhabit or which inhabits us, our pure mind, the mind of Christ, united with ours. And in this pure consciousness, the mantra becomes fainter and fainter, and yet more and more the way and the guide. The next step into pure silence is not for us to speak about, because it is where we are already. We're not thinking about the future. We're not feeling anxiety about the future, nor are we analyzing the past and trying to understand why this happened or why somebody did that. We're letting go of the past. We're allowing the future to unfold as it should, as it will, and we are simply being in the present moment. And then suddenly we think, oh, but this is a problem I've got to solve. How can I do it? What can I do to try to avert disaster? And then again, you start again. You drop that anxiety, that thought, and return to that beautiful, transparent work of saying and listening to the mantra as it leads us more and more beautifully and richly into the silence of being. <laughs>